ma'am, calm down. What kind of shock? <laughs> Okay, uh, a lot of stuff going on today. Basically, uh, condenser fan keeps popping fuses. Uh, so far, I guess my uh, wiring job wasn't exactly perfect. Um, so I haven't decided what I wanna do with that. So, gotta bleed the front brakes. Install the AEM uh, True Boost boost controller. Um, raise the front coilovers a little bit because we will be renting a U-Haul uh, trailer and I don't want this thing to fucking bottom out on it uh, he's brought some insulating wrap for uh, the wiring harness on the chassis that runs along the firewall behind the turbo we're going to wrap that up just for insurance just to be safe and then uh, boost leak check so this morning, I'm gonna head over to Home Depot with Vic, and uh, I'm gonna go buy the PVC coupler that I need to do so. And we'll get a boost leak checked done. It's one of the things that uh, Jack from HP Logic requested that I did. Um, we've been talking emails back and forth, so pretty soon once all this is done we're gonna schedule a dyno session with him and I'm pretty stoked I've met him once before at LZ open house really cool dude so I'm stoked to like meet him again and actually work with him so let's uh, head on over to home meet Home Depot and get some breakfast okay first task of the day went to Home Depot got this four inch uh, PVC end cap and just fucking fits perfectly in this five inch coupler. Right now, I'm just gonna drill a hole in it, probably right there in the center, so we can get this tire valve in there. And that way, we could take where to go this guy right here that locks onto the tire valve and pressurize the system so we'll do that check for boost leaks and then we can knock that off the list all right got the regulator set to about 30 psi there we go Looks good. Oh, look at the biggest bubble around on there. Where? Oh, the intake gasket. Fuck. Really? I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Good. You would have never thought until you do this. Oh yeah, that fucking anti manifold gasket's bad.
I'll get a part number and call headquarters Toyota. Holy shit. That's fucked. All through here in the fucking in the top too. Let me see that. Check that out. Back here you see The throttle body gasket. Got a lot of work ahead of us. Cool. Now we know this, this At least we know it's all in the intake manifold. Yeah. All the couplers look good. The uh, brake booster check valve is doing its job, which is fucking awesome. But yeah. I didn't want to have to take this fucking intake manifold back off, but it is what it is, you know? Awesome. So right now I got Vic taking out the battery, battery tray, and this heat shield uh, to run the wiring harness for the AEM True Boost, which is right here. All right here. And then on top of that, if you guys familiar with these contraptions, you have this uh, Mac valve. It's like a solenoid valve. They're pretty universal. There's a lot of companies that make them. This one here is AEM specific. But uh, we got this sick fucking billet aluminum piece from Race Art. Uh, this is like a random thing I found while doing some googling for a mount for this Mac valve. Uh, you know, found it. They had it in the perfect color. Nice hardware there too. So we're gonna open this up. Take a look. I mean, this isn't sponsored. This is literally something I googled for a Mac valve. And this showed up. I sent it to Vic. I told him, yo, pick this thing up ASAP because this thing looks fucking sick. And it's gonna complement the engine bay very nicely. If I get it on the fucking bag, goddamn. Okay. Um I mean I'm assuming it's just fucking slides up like that. It's a little big. It doesn't fully you go around the Mac valve, but it, I see two mounting holes down there. So, which I believe are these. See two washers. What's well, cool, I think that backside is threaded, so you don't have to worry about little nuts, but it brings two Allen heads, screws. And two tiny ass washers that I can't pick up because I just cut my fingernails. There we go. I need to find a fucking machine. This all my Perfect. First one I grab, look at that. Dude, that fucking looks good. I guess it brings you these two. I guess you could choose which one you want to run. They're all depending on thread pitch. I'm not exactly sure what thread pitch is what. I mean, that one kind of fits a little loosely in there. But you can see it's machined out so that it fucking, the head of the bolt sits right in there. Let's find a spot to fucking put this. Oh, what do you think? 
some more flavor, you know? Right there. So, so I gotta take this. I gotta take this one out. This dress-up bolt that I had here already. That looks cash money. Cash money records. Make you sure it's... You throw up. That's fucking nice. I'm gonna have to angle it a little bit to clear the fitting um, for the wheel well, but it looks fucking great. How much was this? 40 bucks. I think it was like, yeah, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Don't quote cool me on it, I can't remember. But there it is. We don't we don't care for prices when you know. I just swag, you know. Excuse the missing intake, we just did a boost uh leak check. But I mean that looks fucking sick. Yeah. I'm stoked. Pretty hype, ain't gonna lie. Pretty hype. It's uh it's attention to details. You see we did with a purple theme. If you look closely at the flake. It's those old school HKS colors. So there you have it. Not sponsored. Um, just wanted to kind of show that off a little bit because I think it's pretty fucking cool. But anyways, there's all the uh, brass fittings for that Mac valve for the boost controller. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run that harness for the boost controller right through here, just like I did for the uh, AEM wideband, which is right there. So, all through that grommet, under the battery tray. Um, and then the wiring for the Mac valve will go obviously behind the fender, so the fender's gotta come off again. Because we're talking everything around here. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. Vic, if you can, just pull this heat shield off real quick. Okay. Because we also got uh, that heat shielding. I know this stuff is silver and it's, you know, high vis, but I'm sweating nuts. Uh, we gotta protect that wiring harness. I have a lot of man hours into it and I hate for it to, to melt. And you know, melt and everything short out because of the high heat. Well, while he's doing that, I'm gonna figure out uh, part number for that lower intake manifold gasket get that ordered and then you know address all the other random boost leaks that were on that manifold too okay so we got the wiring harness for the AEM crew boost got the max solenoid max valve mounted basically uh, this is all the relay junk I had here for the uh, old Haltech all this is coming out I used the red wire to the relay that was going to that to pull this through as it's also tied together. So this is all gonna go away. So don't freak, I know this is like shit. It's making me cringe right now as a matter of fact, but this is all gonna go away like literally right now. I got the 10 mil for the grounds. I got, you know, I pull everything out and uh, use this relay for something else. I'm thinking about wiring the secondary AC condenser fan uh, on a separate circuit with the relay uh, so just so we can have it there on demand with the switch and then um, after that we got the heat sleeve installed there's three of them three of the blue jays holy shit i thought it was going crazy but i'm like yeah it's fucking three blue jays <laughs> they're probably eating the cat food right here for sure right um i'm not too stoked on this part but we did get that heat shielding around the wiring harness and the brake line. Mm -hmm. 
it's kind of killing the uh the look of the engine bay a little bit but how do you feel about it safety first guys okay um trust me i'm all about function i'm all about function but this car wanted a perfect balance of function and form uh, this isn't specifically just strictly a show car if it was, if this car was gonna be a show car and, queen. and get trailered and sit in the garage, I wouldn't have done it. But we're getting this car tuned to the keys. by Jack Cecil, HP Logic. We're gonna put down some power. And I don't know about Vic, but I'm gonna drive the fucking piss out of this thing. Vic's still a little traumatized from the last car. Still, you know. He's, yeah. st he's still emotionally recovering. Yeah. But um, my my only fear is, even though we did have that heat shield, which is over there right now, we're gonna put it back in. Um, it is pretty close. And I just it's peace of mind, you know. It's it. I rather I rather have that than a melted wiring harness. No, everything's coming along smoothly. Uh, I'm gonna rip out that relay wire for the Hall Tech. Finish wiring up the uh, AEM True Boost. I gotta take this fender off again because I believe it's this wiring harness that goes to the Mac valve. And then I believe these go inside for power ground, illumination, uh, maybe signal for the ECU. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully I got the instructions in there and then we're just gonna keep on going. Yep. So we live. Got the Mac valve installed. Vacuum lines are in. I think it looks pretty fucking good. So basically just finished up the wiring of the AEM True Boost. Um, and then you gotta finish up wiring the uh, Mac valve and just keep knocking out shit on this list. This boost control is kind of kicking my ass. It's uh, it's got extra wires for AEM functions that obviously we're not running an AEM standalone link. So I gotta figure out in, in a little bit is uh, what do I need to do for the link ECU to communicate with the AEM True Boost so that way we can have low boost and high boost settings. I'm sorry. That way, you know, go low boost or like, let's say, I don't know, fucking 10 pounds. You have a tune for that already. A map. Switch over to like 15, 20 pounds of boost and you got a map for that already set up. So, um, I'm gonna do some reading, trying to figure that out. And then also maybe get with Jack see if he knows how to do anything like that. Uh, so we just gotta see. Other than that, it's coming out pretty good. Uh, we still gotta order the anti manifold gasket and just kind of go around the anti manifold plant and tighten shit up. So. Doesn't look that bad, though. Moving in another round, it's about to go down. Got six model chicks and six bottles of Chris. Four Velvet Ass Cow. I'm so fucking sick of wiring. Like. I'm done, bro. I'm done. This will be the last fucking shit I do. I still say it now until you, you know, get another project. This will be, yeah, this will be the last shit I do for at least a couple fucking years. Nah. It's a uh, lie. Don't lie to yourself. But if it's my shit, like when I get my shit, I'm That's gonna take saying. as long as I fucking want. That's what I'm saying. Don't lie to yourself. No, I'm not lying to myself, you know. My build will probably be like 
five years? Eight, ten years, bro. Your car did it to me. Like, this is it. All right, uh, boost solenoid, AM true boost is wired up. Uh, Vic's about to put the fender back on. We got the battery tray back in. We made sure nothing was pinched underneath it. Uh, interior is all back together now. The only thing, the true boost, you have to tee off, right? If you guys are familiar with boost controller setups, you gotta tee off um, between the solenoid the turbo and the side port on the wastegate. Um, AEM didn't bring a fucking vacuum tee, so we had this kit a couple videos back that had brought like numerous vacuum tees and shit. We got an AutoZone for like five bucks, but the vacuum uh, vacuum tubing that AEM came with is like really fucking small, and just trying to squeeze it on there. It took some work, but eventually the tee fucking broke because of plastic junk. So, um, we're going to head to Home Depot after this fender is put on and try to see if they have like brass, you know, brass fucking tees that we can get because uh, it's going to be down there next to the turbo where the tee is going to be. So, it'll be better, heat, more heat resistant, I guess. I don't know if the uh, the vacuum tubing will suffer at all. Hold on, let me pull the light out of it. I should have my fucking head strap for this already. There we go. And then do this bottom bracket here. There. All right, so we're about to head to Home Depot and uh, it's looking real good. Something is bothering me though. And it's this vacuum line. It's just, just sitting there, you know? And uh, I worked really hard to clear these fucking strut towers from all the wiring and shit. And now I just put a fucking vacuum line there and it's kind of bothering me. Remember guys, coronavirus always, always be protective. Always wear your mask. Guess who didn't wear a mask, huh? Guess who got sent out again? This dickhead. Uh huh. So we're at Home Depot. All right, second spot, second stop. Lowe's. Oh, the alarm's going off. Well, that's a hazard. Ooh. All right. So, goddamn these fucking seats. I think the boost controller is installed correctly. Let's uh, see what happens. There she is. She's reading. <laughs> White band's reading. Boost controller's reading. 
sick. I watched a video on uh, how to program that fucking thing. And holy shit, man. Like, it's, it's not like the good old days where you just turn a fucking knob. There's like all kinds of like programming and there's something called scramble boost. And <laughs> I guess I'm a boomer. I said, I guess I'm a boomer. Cause back in the day, you want to make boost, you just turn the fucking knob. Open. This one's got like all kinds of like different settings and shit. What is the Friday boost? Friday <laughs> boost? <laughs> so I just gotta sit down, read the manual, watch some videos. I'm like a video learner. I'm a visual video, like video learner. I can't like learn from reading shit. Cause then I like, I swear I have like ADD or some shit. Um, yeah, I just can't sit down and like read shit. I have to like watch people do it and have somebody like physically fucking teach me how to do shit. Um, cool. So we did the boost controller. Let's take a look at our to-do list. Fuck. Right now, uh, dealing with the number two condenser fan. Uh, not turning on keeps popping the fuse which in turn is while sitting still the temperature does creep up past uh 220. i haven't let it get past 220 i keep shutting it off um so it's because that fans the regular fan on the passenger side is running this one runs but as soon as this one kicks on the fuse pops so i don't know it could be something I did, or it could be the fan. Those are, what fans are those? Mishimoto fans? What I could do is swap the plugs. So plug that one into the number one fan. Let's see what happens. If it pops that fuse, it's a fan for sure. John. Um, intake manifold gaskets. Vic ordered intake manifold gaskets. The bottom one and the top one for the runners. As soon as those comes in, I gotta pull the intake manifold back off, replace those. I gotta replace this hose for the wastegate. I mean, uh, sorry, blow valve. And I gotta try to seal up this gasket some more in the throttle body, and this gasket behind this like plate, weird plate that's going on here. You ever just hate your fucking lady? I cannot stand that fucking guy. Um, charge the AC. So, went to Harbor Freight yesterday, picked up this badass fucking light. If you don't have one of these, go get one. Um, picked up a Father's Day gift from my dad. And it's a brand new vacuum pump from Harbor Freight. Low key, I'm gonna be using it. <laughs> but when I leave, it's gonna stay here. It's his. Um, so we're gonna use that to charge the AC. It's not really priority right now. Um, I still got the, the harness plugs that go to oil level sensor and the AC compressor. I still have to wrap those up in that sleeving. Um, do another boost leak check once the anti manifold is completely resealed and then wash the car. We bled the brakes, we raised the coilovers, the fronts are not maxed out, that's as high as they'll go. Rears are fucking completely monster trucking right now, but that's because we want to load it onto the U Haul trailer without any issues. Um, so that's it, man. I'm fucking beat. You want to keep going? Time out. We're taking a time out. We've been at it since like what a.m. All right. Yeah. Six already, dude. So, all right. That's like a full time. <laughs> if we had a shop AC. No, look, look, if we had a shop with AC, lift all night. You know, all problem. fucking night. So, I don't know. You know what, fuck it, we're calling it. It's been a good day.
Aside from all the boost picks that we found. So, we're gonna fix those and get the car ready for Jack. That's all we can do. So, all right, with that said, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.